And I'm doing good. How have you been? Oh, man, I'm freaking just, I'm blessed, but I'm just freaking working my ass off right now, man. Just grinding and grinding, yeah, man. That's what's up. That's good. That's it's very good. Grind mode. What you up to? What you got going on? Um, You know, I haven't really, I haven't taken off yet with any clients or anything, but yeah. I've kind of taken a whole different route from where I started from our last good. talk. Like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not focusing on fitness anymore for the moment, at least. I want to get there eventually, but for mm -hmm. the moment. I'm focusing on local businesses like painters and roofers. That's what I want to go after. Ooh, and nice. That's okay. what I want to do, but I'm having to learn Google ads now because I would work better for service-based businesses that are local. So I'm in the process of learning Google ads. Eventually, I can just start them off on Google ads and then move them over to Facebook and get them running on social media. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I'm in kind of a hump right now, but you know, it's a learning curve and I'm going to get through it. So. Yeah, man, that's what's up. What what state are you in? Arizona. You're in Arizona. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, roofers could be could be big, man, because painters painters for sure too. But any mm -hmm. any any business that has a high ticket. Yeah. Right. Those are the ones mm -hmm. that are that are that are worth pitching. Those are the ones that have a budget to yeah. to market. So. So my whole my whole plan of attack on going after service based businesses like these is I'm gonna charge them um, per lead and I plan on doing like forty five dollars per lead. So if I were to get them on, my plan is to get them through like a one week trial and just prove myself to them through Google and I can get them some calls mm -hmm. and just kind of prove them that I can get them the leads and then move them over to social media with Google and kind of integrate them both. And then I'll charge $45 per lead. If I bring them 10 leads a week, then I'm making 450. And then, mm -hmm. you know, the money just stacks week after week. And I want to work with me because they need leads constantly. Oh so, yeah. So since I used to live in Alaska as well, um, a big thing up there is like tree removal services mm -hmm. and they have a high ticket on what they like that costs a lot of money to remove trees. So I'm planning on attacking back in Alaska and getting some, finding some local businesses up there that will do like tree removal and John mm -hmm. calling um, and painters roofers. Those are like the four that I've really mm -hmm. tuned in on. Those are the four that I'd want to work for. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to find a way that I can, I can really just settle in and start going. I just need to start going. That's the biggest thing. Yeah. And what I, what I, what I would highly recommend as well is, is definitely get your feet wet in, in, in experience in these different, niches but once mm -hmm. you really crack off with one i would narrow it in on on just Target. that one. yeah you I'm know so if, if painters crack off then then you go all in with uh -huh. only painters yeah you know that's that's what i would just do focus on one yeah yeah focus on one um now what one thing i do know is that these type of service-based businesses these small business owners these local businesses these service-based businesses they get hit up a million times a day on Google advertising. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and, and I know that for a fact because 10 years ago in 2010, I had an office where I had, I had people on the phone and we were cold calling all day, pitching local businesses on Google ads. And that was 10 years ago. I see. So, yeah. so these, these local businesses, they're, 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 they get bombarded by phone calls. Mm -hmm. So, Phone calls may not be may not be the best strategy in my opinion. And I come uh -huh. from the phone call business. Like I was a telemarketer for years. Like I ran yeah. call centers. I did all that on the phone. Mm -hmm. And and it's definitely a grind. And and at the same time, you're not the only one calling. Yeah. You know what I mean? So um what I what I do know is the fact that that social media, they don't know nothing about it. So uh -huh building a social media presence for them that's more of a, of a of a of a unique offer that now they're probably getting calls on that too but not 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 not, not not as much like yeah. at all like at all at all and at the same time mm -hmm. social media marketing like especially five steps that i teach yeah ain't no one pitching that like ain't yeah. no one pitching that I've never like heard no of one's this. pitching that mm -hmm. um but everyone's pitching. I'll get you on the top of Google. I'll get you on page uh -huh. one. Like everybody's pitching that man. That's a, that's a played out pitch. But, but, um, 
but bringing them leads through social media, bringing them leads through Facebook advertising, building them an email list Mm -hmm. of people that are in their local area. Um, that's powerful, man. Like that's powerful. Like, um, and, and, and to tell you the truth, it's that that's easier for, for, for an agency like you, like Uh you you would only need to learn Facebook advertising. Yeah, for sure. But I don't know what this, I mean, at the same time, I don't know if you're, if you're, if you're, more of an analytical or more of an intelligent type of person where Google AdWords and Google. Oh, I feel more comfortable in the Facebook. Yeah, Facebook bro. Like Google, with everything. Like Google is confusing. Hell yeah, dude. I can't. And, and the right? thing with like the thing with these services is I, I've heard and I've done some kind of like, I'm following another person as well. Um, and he's saying like Google can get them really started in it just because Facebook is more of like a, an interruption type of marketing, right? Like you're, you're going, yeah, you're going I mean, through their yeah. feed yeah. and Google's like, they're looking for the service initially. So once you, once I take them through the five step processes of, you know, building their page up and actually getting their online branding to show like through Facebook and they, mm-hmm. most of the people that I work for, they don't, I mean, that I'm trying to work for, they don't have websites, let alone barely have Facebook pages. So I mm-hmm. can really come in there and do that. Mm-hmm. But it's, I'm, it's not necessarily a, it's, I question, I question on whether I'd be able to bring leads through the process of actually like Facebook. Like I I know how to do all the Facebook advertising. I know how to do landing pages, but I've never put it in action. So I can't really put a belief on something that I'm not familiar with, if that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know how to to not necessarily guarantee, but say, Hey, I can get you results with Facebook. I can do this with you for Facebook, uh, let alone, cause I honestly, I'd want to just focus in and just do Facebook with the five steps that I've learned from you specifically, mm-hmm. but I haven't seen it in action. So I, I specifically don't know. And that's where I need to get my experience. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, let me pull up, let me pull up Facebook real quick. And if I go to Facebook and I just type in, let's see, give me a niche. Um, house painters. Okay. So if I just come over here and I search for house painters, if I go to, and see, here's what I would do, man. Like it, again, it just depends on, it depends on if that's going to be your niche or not. Like mm-hmm. once you do find your niche, then you, then you go all in and you simply, you click on people and you start adding all of these people. Like these are people. Like I don't want the business page. I want the person. So this right here, JR Painters, um, and 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 a lot of them. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like they don't know shit. Like they've been pitched yeah. forever, bro. On 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 Google, mm-hmm. on on page one of Google. That's a played out pitch. I'm telling you. But when it comes to social media, their social media game is horrible. They ain't got no game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I can for sure get up, get 500 from, from a painter, a thousand from a painter to go optimize their social media, to get all their links up in place, to take uh-huh. a, to, to run a Facebook like ad. Look, if I click on their business page, look, it ain't even a business nothing, page. Yeah, nothing. So, yeah. so that, that is horrible. None of their, none of, well, this guy's in New Zealand, but let's see mm-hmm. if I can find someone um, over here, like this right here. Um, Pennsylvania. So, but here, but here's another thing, man. Mm-hmm. It's the fact that these dudes suck so bad where they're turning their personal pages into their business page. Business page, yeah. When it's like, dude, like, are you freaking stupid? Like this, like Pittsburgh painters, this should be a business page. Yeah. This should be this individual, which it is this individual, but he's but he's hiding behind his business page. He's thinking this yeah. is a business page, right? No personal image. He's just creating mm-hmm. this as a business page when it's not. And again, that link ain't 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 linking Going nowhere. Nowhere, yeah. So let me let me see if I can find one that actually So as you're finding it, do you do you charge I noticed in most of your strategy calls is when you're talking to like um like realtors, you 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 give them the service for optimizing and and um, doing the like ad for them. Do you usually charge people that you don't see maybe working long term with for those services, or do you charge people all the time for those like optimizing and getting their 
our links up. Yeah. Getting the like pages. That, that right there. Stop right there. It's the link optimization, getting all their, uh, look, look, I go to Joe Painter and all he has is his, is, is this link right here, which ain't even his business. Actually, is it his business page? Yeah, it is his business page. Okay. So look, perfect example. Link optimization. There's his business page, but where's your, Hey Joe, where's your LinkedIn? Where's your Instagram? Where's your Pinterest? Where's your Twitter? Uh, oh, you ain't knowing about none of those platforms. You're right. You know, I, I get it. I, I, I totally understand. You don't know about any of them and you ain't probably on any of them, but guess what? billions of people are and this is social media so we need to get these links up that's part one and mm -hmm. then i come to your page joe i come over to your business page and you got 15 likes i'm thinking you just started are you did you just get into business or what you got 15 likes like what's going on over here and he'll be like oh well you know well yeah i don't know what i'm doing over here and i'm like joe i'm gonna run a simple ad i'm gonna take that to 1500 mm -hmm. okay and what we're gonna do right now is you're going to pay for the ad um and what I do is I have a simple video. Like I have a 10 minute video. I used to do this step one physically link everything for them yeah. until I just recorded a video of me doing it. And, and that's what I them. send them. Okay. So yeah. I, I make it sound like they're only paying for the like ad. Um, okay. And as an added bonus, I'll help you out with step one. I'll send you a video. It's a 10 minute video. Once you watch it, you'll be able to link everything in two minutes. Okay. Which is, which is the truth. Like you watch yeah. that 10 minute video and you're like, you'll link all your shit up in, in two minutes. Yeah. So I'll say, okay, for every, for every 1000 likes for every $100, Joe, that I put towards this like ad, we can go up another 1000 likes. And that's the, that's the real numbers of it. Uh, no, about it's, not real, it's not the real numbers of it. Like my margin on that is absolutely ridiculous, bro. Like ridiculous, oh, okay, like okay. ridiculous, like ridiculous. I'll tell, oh, okay. you, I'll tell you on another call, but it's ridiculous. Okay. I so I tell him, I say, Joe, I'm going to take this budget, whether it's a hundred bucks, whether it's a couple hundred bucks. And what I really tell him is by the day. So we can either run it at five bucks a day. And I tell him it's a monthly ad, it, but it's, it's a one-time ad. We're going to run it for 30 days. It's a one-time ad. These uh -huh. likes, we're going to run it to everyone on Facebook who, who fits the interests of home ownership. These are people that most likely own a home or people that are going to be buying a home. And these are your potential, you know, that's your audience. But, um, but the like ad is going to everyone. So it's not a targeted ad. It's not going to go to only Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. nor, nor do you want it to only go to Pittsburgh. Because if, if we target only Pittsburgh, Joe, and we do it for likes, you're going to spend an arm and a leg. And at the yeah. end of the day, Facebook isn't even showing your post to all those people anyways. The truth is, and this is a, a real fact, uh -huh. Facebook only shows the post to 1% of your like count. Um, yeah, okay. So that's why if you're posting on your business page, you'll get very few engagement because very few actually, um, see, it. See, actually see it. Yeah. Um, so I tell them, I say, dude, the only reason why I want 1500 there is for the credibility for the, for the social proof. So when I land here, I see 1500, I'm blown away when it comes to perception, yeah, all your friends, all your colleagues, all your competitors, Joe, all these painters down the street, they got 15, 16 likes like you. Uh -huh. So the moment someone comes to your page and they see a few thousand, that's the first impression. That's a good one. So I say, step one, we're going to add all those links. I'll send you that video. Step two, I'm going to run that like ad. Now, a lot mm -hmm. of my clients, Joe, they'll, they'll either do five bucks a day for 30 days, which is 150 for the month. Now, keep in mind, it's not a month to month ad. So don't worry. It's a one time ad. But if you have the budget, this is the first ad. So five bucks a day. Some of my clients go 10 bucks a day. So at $10 a day, we'd be at, we'd be at, at 300 for the month on this one ad. And that mm -hmm. would take you up 3,000 likes, Joe. So, so I'll tell them either five bucks a day, 150 a month, or, and I'll take them up a thousand likes. So I don't even tell them a, th a, a, a thousand likes for a hundred bucks anymore. I used to, but now I broke it down per day and it's actually 150. So I say at that $5 a day budget, Joe, we'll be able to hit 1500 on that like count okay. at a, at a $10 a day, Joe, $10 a day budget, Joe for 30 days. Again, it's a one-time ad. We'll be able to take that number to 3000. So it all just depends on what your ad is or what your budget mm -hmm. is. Now, here's the deal, Joe. I'm willing to do that for you just to get our feet wet, just so we can break bread, just so we can really get the ball rolling. And, 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 and I like to start my clients off on a smaller package to get everything optimized, get the page, get the like count up. And then we'll move on to, to step three, which is lead capture. But by that time, we'll have a high like count. And when we get yeah. to that step, that's when we only target Pittsburgh. That's when we're going to start going after leads and we're going to start capturing leads from Pittsburgh. 
but mm-hmm. that's not right now. And so when I pitch it that way, dude, it allows me to get anywhere from 150 to 300 per day because I'm closing someone every day. Uh-huh. It allows me to get that 150 to 300 a day, um, sometimes even four or 500 a day um, uh-huh. up front from an individual daily. And so the way I have mine set up is the moment they're, I onboard them, I have an email sequence that goes out. So, for, so I tell them, I say, Joe, okay, great. I'm going to get this ad started tonight. We're going to focus on this first, and then we'll talk about lead capture. So check my emails. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you a handful of emails over the next week or so. Make sure you schedule another call with me, okay? In the meantime, we'll have this like ad going. All your links are going to be set up. And in the beginning, if you really want to earn their business, I would say, you know what, Joe? Let me do step one for you. That's what, mm-hmm. that's what I did for literally three years, man. Actually, mm-hmm. three and a half. I didn't make that video of step one until maybe, maybe, maybe five months ago, bro. Like okay. I would physically yeah. do step one for them okay. and, 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 and they appreciate that. So I, I, I make it sound like an added bonus. I'm going to be like, yeah. Hey, I'm going to put this budget towards the like ad and I'll even do step one for you. Okay. And I so see. what you want to do though, is you for sure want to have a blueprint. You want to have a template. You want to have um, a, 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 a case study. So you want to have, you want to have Gabriel's painting. And then, and then, and then you have that one page and you, and like, like what I do is I, I literally show, like I have mine saved right here. My bookmark, Mm -hmm. when I'm on a call with somebody, I tell people all the time, I'm like, look, here's what the ad is going to look like. So I'll show them an example of the like ad, Mm -hmm. right? Um, I don't, I don't show them the, the, like, cause that like ad, I ran it from, I run it from my end, right? It's not from Mm -hmm. their ad account. It's from my ad account, but from their page. So only I see the analytics, only I see the numbers, but I show them a picture of the ad. Um, But, but also when I'm on a call, I'm always using my client as an example. So I'll I'll show them another Realtors page. I'll show them another. Yeah. Right. You see, yeah. You see Mm -hmm. how I pull up another page. I'll show them step one, all the links. Mm -hmm. And then I'll show them the business page. I'll show them their like count. I'll say, Hey Joe, you got 15. Let me show you my previous client. Stacy, she owns a painting company as well. And, and, and she's a, she's a real estate agent. She's in another, another state. She's closing escrows, you know, every day, but let me show you her page. And then I show mm-hmm. them their page and she has freaking 5,700. Right. So now, 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 now I come over here to my ads manager. I have that part bookmarked and I pull up a live example of the ad. I say, Hey Joe, here's what the ad looks like in real time. And I pull up the real ad and I come down, scroll through, scroll through. And I'm like, boom, there's the ad, Joe. So you're going to, you're, so where I get the image is I just simply type in homes, luxury yeah. homes and Facebook pulls all these beautiful images of homes. And I use that as, as, as the home, as the image, I could type in painters. Mm-hmm. I could type in any keyword and Facebook's gonna give me the perfect image for it. So okay. I'm using, I'm using a client as an example, as a case study. And uh-huh. that's what really solidifies the deal. So if you're bringing me to Joe's page or if I'm looking at Joe, I'm talking to Joe. I'm like, Hey dude, look at step one. Like your step one is horrible. You ain't got nothing listed. Ain't no one knowing you're in business. And and then Mm -hmm. I say, Joe, let's look at your business page. I'm like, dang, Joe, you got 15 likes. Like we need to take that up. Let me show you my other client. He has, he has 5,000. Is that not a difference? Right. And and then, Mm -hmm. and then that alone, man, again, I'll, I'll say, let's start there. We'll start there. And then, and then check for my emails. And then, and then in about, in about two weeks, in about two weeks, I have my email set up where in about two weeks, another email will go out and I'll say, Hey Joe, great, to, great, great, great to, um, you know, get back in touch with you. The mm-hmm. like ad is crushing it. All of our links are optimized. Everything looks fantastic. Click the link below. Our next step is step three. When we start running local lead capture ads to capture mm-hmm. leads. Can't wait to talk to you about that. I have a bunch of strategies I want to share with you. So click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best call. Can't wait to talk to you, Joe. And that's an email autoresponder that I have already programmed, already set up. The moment I onboard them, X amount of days, that email is going to go out. So as I'm onboarding them, I'm saying, hey, man, check for my emails Mm because that's when we're going to get back on the call. So doing it that way, it allows me to get that upfront money. And that's how I feed my family, bro. Yeah. Because you're not going to be closing people right away off of 500 a month, yeah. month to month, even a thousand a month, 1500 a month, month to month. You ain't going to, you ain't going to do that right away. Trust. Yeah. You're not going to be able to close someone just like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. 
but but if i paint the picture which is how i do it i paint the picture i'm like hey man i'm gonna run this ad you're gonna pay for the ad um and then what i also tell them is i say hey i'm willing to do step one i'll optimize everything for you i'll run this ad you pay for it but here's the deal joe you're gonna owe me a good review Mm, yeah and you're building yourself up I, I saw i see that a lot in your videos right so so mm -hmm. that's how like even even before this page i didn't move to this name i didn't change my name um inspired digital i didn't get that name until september of 20 september of 2018 yeah it was 2018 it was september yeah it was september of 2018 when i went from my initial name that i started with to inspired digital and since then i i, I put up 69 reviews but on my first page when I started my agency in 2016, I started with my last name, Cantero Media Group. And so I ran with that. I started my agency with that. And I had over a hundred reviews yeah. on that page. Mm -hmm. And I just canceled it out. I said, screw it. I'm going to, I'm going to start all over. I want, I, I don't want my name in it. This. Yeah. Um, and, and I'll just start over. It's all good. Mm -hmm. But, but that's what they do, man. Like I, I have, I'll, I'll do step one, I'll do step two. And then boom, they'll come over here, give me a good review. Good and that's how they feel they're paying me. Um, and then again, my emails are set up where we're getting back on the, on the call. So if I'm closing, let's just say I'm closing, let's just say I'm closing for a week, like mm -hmm. for a week. Um, and, 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 and even, even, even at, let's just say, even at, let's just say, I mean, shit, let's just keep it real on the low, 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 low end. And I'm telling you, the profit margin is ridiculous. Like you wouldn't even believe it. Like it's, it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. It's stupid, ridiculous. Mm -hmm. But let's just say even at, even if, even if you were just having that small, small 150, you're just getting these 150 wins, mm -hmm. right? You do, you do one a day, that's 700 a week, yeah. right? So, and, and that's on the upfront. So you didn't have to take anyone's big money. You didn't ask for big money. Like you didn't, you're starting small. And, and so let's say, for example, you're closing, let's just say four a week, let's say you're doing four a week, you're mm -hmm. making a quick, you know, 600 a week and, and your profit margin on that is damn near almost 600. Like you got to, your profit margin on that's about 550. So, okay. so that's on the, uh, let's call it 500, just mm -hmm. worst case scenario, 500, you didn't leave your pad and that 500 came in weekly and that's a net profit. Mm -hmm. Here's the deal out of, out of the four people, let's, let's say it was four a week. That's 12 a month. At the end of the month, these 12 people are now receiving your future, your, your other emails out of the 12 people. You're going to have anywhere from, you're going to have anywhere from two to three of them actually take you up on the next step. They're going to get I your see. email. They're going to schedule an appointment. They're going to be wanting to talk about lead capture now. Okay. And I'm planning that seed in, in the first call. I say, Hey Joe, we're going to start small. All right. I'm going to do these links. Uh -huh. I'm going to do this like ad. I'm going to get your page looking good. Because as you can see, all your competitors, all your pages look like crap. I'm going to hook it up. I'm going to make it look good. That's what I do. Um, you're going to owe me a good review. But hey, what I want you to keep in mind is that all this is about leads. Like obviously, you're in business to capture leads. We want to do deals. We want to we 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 bring in you know, business. But again, these two steps should happen first. So check for my emails. But what I also want, to mm -hmm. keep, keep, want you to keep in mind, Joe, is that step three is a weekly ad. That's when we start running weekly ads. So not everyone gets there because now, now it takes a budget. So, mm -hmm. you know, some of my clients spend 500 a month. Some of them are spending 5,000 a month. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on what, how many leads you want and, and where you want to be. But at the same time, look out for my emails and, and I can't wait to talk to you about that. Cause that's when we're going to start capturing more leads than you could possibly handle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm planning the seed in the first call. I'm planning the seed yeah. for him to check my emails. I'm planning the seed that it's going to cost money. Mm -hmm. I'm planning to see that it's, that it's going to be a daily ad. We're running weekly ads, monthly mm -hmm. budget. And I'm telling them right there, I'm even, you know, creating the fear of loss. I'm saying, Joe, to tell you the truth, bro, not everyone even gets there because mm -hmm. some are still afraid to spend the money. Some don't even have the money mm -hmm. and, 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 and not everyone, you know, can, can handle that much business because yeah. once I get these weekly ads going and we're now on step three and we're targeting Pittsburgh and we're crushing it with lead capture to tell you the truth, Joe, I might bring you too much business. You can't handle it. So mm -hmm. I don't know exactly where you're at right now, nor do I need to know. Um, I want to focus on this first, but check for my emails and schedule a call because my calendar, my calendar feels fast, man. I'm talking to a ton of painters. Everyone wants to be on social media and people are going wild right now. My phone, I, I have calls all damn day. So when you uh -huh. get the email, schedule an appointment, man. Right. And I even see. if you don't, so, so you see what I'm doing there? Like I'm yeah. already prepping him. I'm yeah, already prepping him. That really. Yeah, dude. Like, 
I'm getting them excited. I'm prepping them. He appreciates that I'm starting them small. Everyone's pitching them 1,000, 1,500 Google ads, first page uh -huh. of Google, all that shit. Everyone's pitching them high ticket. You're coming in here with, with humility and saying, hey, man, I'll do this for you. I'll charge you a good review. And let's just start there. Okay. Oh, so I see. that right there, man, would, would, would allow you to, to, to feed your fam mm -hmm. and, and, and make, make a, make a good, make, and, and deliver value up front mm -hmm. to these painters. Um, and, and what I would do, man, again, house painters, people, I would literally kick off every single friend on your Facebook move them, move them all to your IG or put them all mm -hmm. on your TikTok or, or whatever the hell you're doing, Just put them all somewhere things. else mm -hmm. and, and, and fill up this click on uh, search house painters, go to people and fill up that 5,000 with painters. Okay. Like, yeah. like what I would do is I would look for the real, like per, actually all of them all cause it's a, it's a personal page. So even though they don't got their image, even though they, they ain't got nothing list like this is like, this is like, um, yeah, that's in Chile. So some of these are, are international, but maybe you can you can narrow it in. Um, let me see. Um, yeah, see, yeah, I side. can go. Yeah. I can choose a city. What I would do is I would choose. I would choose. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't just go your your area. Do I would go. Over. I would go. Man, I wish I can. I wish I can search by country. I would just crush the country. Uh -huh. but even if you just, even if you just want your, your state, Arizona, uh -huh. let's see if I can go see, I actually have to go city. Okay. Let's see if I can just, and what I'm, what I'm also doing house painters, let's see. Um, yeah, see this, this dude's, this dude's a, um, where does it say painter at? It just said it on the other. Actually, it might be in in his about. Let me see. Um, works at yeah. See, let let's look at his about real quick. Yeah, works at house painter. So, here's the deal. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. And here's what I don't do. I I will search that name, mm -hmm. the, the keyword for example, and I don't bother to to click on them, look at their profile do some due diligence, due diligence on them. I don't care. Mm -hmm. It's too time consuming. All yeah. I'm looking for is house painter. If that dude said, if, if there's house painter in there, I'm adding as a friend. Okay. I see. Right. So narrowing it in by city, you, you might not, I don't know if you might, if you might find a lot, but I would just go anywhere, man. I would just go yeah. anywhere, just go anywhere and just, and just, and you can hover over if actually normally you can hover over and it gives you a little bit more information, but, even if it doesn't, it's all good. But right here, better house painters, add friend. Like I would just add friend, add friend, add friend, add friend. I would go on an add friend blitz. And, 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 and I would just request all of them, man. I'd request all of them. And that's why you, you kind of want to narrow it in to, to just one, to just one. Yeah. Cause you don't want to have all over the place. Yeah. And, and I'm telling you, man, that pitching them on social media you know, is, is, is powerful, bro. Like on social media marketing, pitching them to put their business on social mm -hmm. media marketing is, is powerful. And see, so this guy, he's active for sure. Cause what he's doing is he's clicking invite mm -hmm. and that's how he got 700 people, but I'll still send him a message. I'm like, Hey man, I know you've been clicking invite for a while, but let's take that number to 7,000. I'd love to help yeah. you on a simple Facebook ad to get thousands of people to like this page. Mm -hmm. And you said you usually do what five dollars a day? Well, you can. I mean, that's the minimum. Like some some would go five dollars a day, some go ten dollars a day, some go fifteen dollars a day, and some that, some go twenty and, bucks a day. And once you once you get to the the like, how are you collecting the payments if you're they're putting in the money for the ad? No, they're giving me their credit card. I'm running it on my end. I go through. I'm I'm processing it through my credit card processing machine. Oh, I yeah, see. man. And I tell them this is the only ad that I'm doing that with this ad. The like ad is the only one that I'm going to process on my end. Facebook's going to charge me. I'm running it from my ad account. Um, I'm going to run it from your business page. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to request access to your business page, but I'm running it from my ad account. So Facebook charges me. Um, I charge you. So I'll simply, I'll email you a receipt. So don't worry. You're going to get full confirmation. I'm going to email you a receipt. 
And this is the only ad I run this way. Once we do get to step three, but I'm telling you right now, Joe, not everyone does. But if we ever do get to step three and we start crushing it and I start running lead capture to your local area, that's when I run it, everything from your end. And that's when I you'll see. start paying Facebook. But right now we don't need to because it's a one, it's one time ad. It's just one ad. So yeah. rather than asking for your password and rather than me having to log in and all that, I just run it from my end. And they're like, okay, oh, okay no problem. I see. Okay. I see. You know? Once you, all right. So moving on, moving on to say step three, what is a realistic, what is a, see, I don't, I don't like, I don't like how I'm going to word this question, but is, what is a realistic, um, quote unquote guarantee that you can get for like leads? Like what can you expect out of Facebook when you're doing lead ads, when you're doing the weekly new videos and you're running them as ads and you're driving them to a landing page and you're retargeting them and you're, you're going through the process that, that you have specifically, what is, what is average ad or, or lead generation for you for that? You get that, that's not even a, a question you can answer right now. Like yeah. until you actually start running them, you don't know. But at the same mm -hmm. time, at the same time, the way you really want to want to want to set it up is you simply ask them what they make per deal. Like, let's mm -hmm. be realistic, Joe. If I got you a lead right now for a residential homeowner, and they reached out to you because they want they're looking for a quote and they want to paint their house. You still don't know what you're going to charge them because you haven't went out there. What if they just want one bedroom? What if they want the whole damn house? What if they just want the exterior? So you don't even know yet what you're going to charge them, right? So for you to ask me what these what these leads are going to cost, I don't even know yet until we start running them. But at the same time, Joe, here's what I need you to keep in mind. If you were to go out there and let's just say they wanted, let's say it was a four bedroom house but they just wanted two bedrooms painted. What would you charge? Okay. So you charge, you would charge 900 to make that happen. Okay. So then here's how I want you to look at it. We need to be spending 900 per month on Facebook advertising, because if we could spend 900 a month and you get one damn deal of one person who just needs two damn bedrooms, you break mm -hmm. even. But what if we got two deals, you profit. So forget about looking at five bucks a day or how much cost per lead. Forget about all that damn stuff, Joe. Forget about the analytics. We're, we're too damn early in the process for, to even be, even be knowing those numbers. But what I want you to understand is the fact that you make so much per deal. And, and, yeah. and if I'm saying, let's just start with 500 a month, you're going to pay me 500. You're going to pay Facebook ads 500 because now, now we're on step three, lead capture. Facebook's going to start charging you. But what I want you to do is plant the, plant the number of five, 500. So if, 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 if we're doing 500 for Facebook ads, you're paying me 500 a month to run them for you. That's a thousand a month. So if I brought you one freaking client, you no break reason. even. I see. Oh, if I brought you two clients, you profit. Well, shit. What if I brought you two leads every day of potential clients? Like what would that be worth to you? You know, so that's how you kind of want to paint. And that's why, that's why Facebook ads doesn't work for everyone. Like Facebook ads do, doesn't work for low ticket items because if you're, if you're, I mean, if you're doing Shopify, for example, and you're selling necklaces and your, your necklaces are freaking $7, like you got to be running a shitload of ads. And, and a lot of times the profit margin isn't there. Yeah. But, gonna show up for a while. but, but if we're, if, if you're high ticket and you're making three grand per deal, it's like, dang, dude, how can you not justify spending a thousand on me to make it happen? I see. Right. So that's how you want to look at it. That's why, that's why I, I, when I talk to real estate agents, I'm like, dude, you make seven grand per deal. How the hell are you not spending seven grand per month on advertising? That's how you have to look at it. And, and, and 7,000 a month on advertising is absolutely insanely a lot. And a person doesn't even really need that in the beginning at all. But that's how I want them to think. I'm like, dude, if you spend seven grand and you got one deal, you broke even. If you spend seven grand and got two deals, you profited. But guess what? You're not going to need to spend that much at all. But when I look at the number, when I, when I shared the numbers with you that way, it puts things in perspective where it's like, damn, dude. That, that would, that makes sense. And I'm over here fighting, fighting with him on, on just spending 300. I see. It's like, dude, are you kidding me? Like, that's why I speak to some agents and they're like, they're like, David, I, I, I can run a $25 ad. I'm like, $25? Like, what the hell? You're a real estate agent. You make eight grand per deal. And you're talking about 25 bucks? Get the hell out of here. 
I see it's about it's really perspective. Yeah, dude, everything. it's like you yeah, man, that that's why I went back into solar. Like I have I'm 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 restarting my my side hustle. Mm -hmm. Um and I'm going to be going back into solar because now that I know how to run Facebook ads, I'm going to start branding myself on video and in, in, here in my local area of San Diego and just do simple videos on 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 solar, residential solar, these panels that are going up on everyone's home. And I'm going to be doing simple video videos that I'm going to be running as Facebook ads to capture leads. And the reason why is because I make so much per deal, man. We're making, on average, we're making seven grand. I mean, that's average. Like the average, like if you look at your, out, out your neighborhood right now, you look at these houses across the street that got a solar panel, the person that put that, or the, the sales consultant, I should say, a lot of the sell, a lot of the solar guys ain't making nothing. But if that went through our deal, that that's 7,100 for one damn deal. Mm. So it's like, how can I not spend a couple thousand a month, which I'm not even going to need to spend that much. But even if I was mm -hmm. spending three, four grand a month on Facebook ads, holy shit, I'm going to crush it. Yeah. You know? I see. Um, and so that's why, because it's high ticket. It's a high ticket. It doesn't take mm -hmm. that many deals to justify this Facebook ad cost. So I see. when it comes to a painter, it's like, dude, it doesn't take that many clients to justify what I'm telling you to spend on the, on the Facebook ad campaign and telling you what I'm going to charge you to do it, to do it for you. That mm -hmm. dude, that, that's not, and, and once we start, once I start getting, once we start getting some paid customers, Joe, then, then, then I'm going to be moving it up. So I'll start at 500, but to tell you the truth, man, I'm going to, I'm going to work you up. I want you spending 5,000 a month. We're going to start at 500, but to tell you the truth, Joe, I'm going to get you to spend, I'm going to get you to the point where you're spending 5,000. Mm -hmm. And the only, the only reason, the only, the only way I'm going to get you there is if we start closing a shitload of deals. So I hope you're ready, Joe. And again, not everyone's ready. Not everyone can handle the business, mm -hmm. but again, I don't want to get ahead of ourselves. We'll talk about that later. Just look for my emails. Let me, let me start this like ad tonight. I got to get to work. Uh -huh. And by the way, is that a Visa, MasterCard or American Express? Oh, Visa. Okay, cool. Four numbers at a time. Oh, you just take it right over the call like that. I'm taking huh? it. I'm closing all day, bro. You see my strategy calls? I just saw that. I, it was crazy because when you, I, I just watched one with one real estate agent and her, her like count. And then when I like loaded in, I saw her ad and she's at 3000. I'm like, whoa, like I just watched her video yesterday and mm -hmm. she was at this point. And it's, mm -hmm. and, and, and that, that's just one ad. So, so once I'm done with that, they're fired up. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and, and now they're now, now, now they know they have a social media presence. That, mm -hmm. That's what it's all about, man, is, is now having that social media presence. That's what they yeah. don't have. Like this guy, Armando house painter, like he don't know what the hell it's he's doing, yeah. but he wants it. He wants a social media presence. Mm -hmm. So again, once I hook up one page, then I use that page to, to, to your to, case study. That's my case study, man. I'm going to show it to every painter in the, in the world this one page and everyone's going to want their page to look like that. I see. Oh, that's, you know, that's a, yeah. So, so, so to get on from, from maybe I'm asking more operations side, but are you using cards to send out the emails after you do the calling with them to do their optimizing and everything? Very good question, man. Heck yeah. All, um, when I onboard them, Again, I send them a video for step one, but uh -huh. in, but in your case, if to, what I would do if I were you, and this is what I did the first damn near three and a half years, uh -huh. because that really solidifies the deal. That really closes the deal. When yeah. I say, you know what, man, I'm going to do step one for you. I'm going to take the time. I'm going to physically go out there and edit and change the settings to LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter. I'm going to go out there and register your domain. I'm going to do the legwork. That's step one. So that's how I closed literally, bro, literally, literally uh, over a couple hundred, my first couple hundred clients, because this, since day one, this is what I've done since day one, mm -hmm. my first couple hundred clients, bro. And I got videos on this where I'm showing my Stripe account. I'm yeah. showing my, my back end um, of all these customers, like the, mm -hmm. pro, the credit card processing machine. Right. So my first couple hundred customers, bro, I did it for them. So it wasn't again until a few months ago when I'm like, you know what the hell with doing that? I don't want to do that no more. I'm going to record a video. I'm going to tell these people to do it themselves and they're going to do it themselves. Mm -hmm. And, and, and I'm going to make it sound like they're, they're only paying for the like ad, which they are. And, um, they're going to get a ton of value out of it. And so when I onboard them, I'll take their credit card. I'll, um, and what I, what, 
Yeah. So, so in the beginning, again, the first couple hundred, I'll take them to a page like this and I enter their information. I don't send them, I, I don't send them this link because mm -hmm. I just, I just open it myself and, and, and I onboard them through here mm -hmm. and this is a Kartra page. And so the reason why I do it here and the reason why I do it on an actual landing page is because that form, it automatically puts them on a list Yeah, and that list is automated. tied to my sequence. Yeah. So, okay. so now I already have 10 emails that are already set, ready to go out to everyone that I import on this list. Uh -huh. So, um, and so, is this, this is your, this is your onboarding process that you do with the client, clients. Yep. 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 It is. And so okay. in your case, this, this onboarding process, same thing. And once they click on start step one, that triggers email number one, where your email number one, and this is how my email number one would be like for the first couple hundred. This mm -hmm. is how my email number one would, would read the first few years. That first email number one would be a list, a checklist of info needed. And on that email is all the information I need to log in to Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Twitter. So I would request that password, the login email, the password, all that's in email number one, and it automatically goes out once I onboard them here. Mm. So they'll okay. reply to that email. And I tell them on the call, I say, hey, man, I'm going to send you the first email. It's going to be titled Info Needed. In that email is going to be a list of everything I need. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the time to go customize all these links and make it look like John the painter. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to match everything. I'm going to look, make everything look super legit. Your brand, your Facebook page, your business page is going to have a complete facelift by the time I'm done with it. Yeah. And they're fired up, dude. They're fired mm -hmm. up. They're like, holy shit. Heck yeah, Dave. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I'll look out for the email and I'll reply to it right away with all my information. I and, see. And, and then, and then once I, once I, once I, um, um, get that email back, now I have their Facebook login and what I'll do is I'll come to their face. I'll come to Facebook. I'll log into their account mm -hmm. and then I'll simply go to their business page and add myself in the manager in the, in the, in the admin. Yeah. In the, in the, in the, well, in the, you go to the business page and you can add them, um, um, from, from the actual, like if I come over here mm -hmm. and I click on, I click on settings and I click on page roles. So if I'm logged into their account, this is what I'm doing, process. settings, page roles, and then I'll just simply add myself over here as a partner or as an admin. I see. Or I can go into the ads manager and do it that way, but I can simply come but over here. It's the here. same thing? Yeah. Okay. So I can simply type in an email and, and, and I t I'll type in my email and just, and just give myself you know access because walking them through, through this, um, sometimes was a pain, but now, now to tell you the truth, because I don't set up all the links, I don't request information for Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter anymore. Mm -hmm. I have them do it, but the business page is the only one that I, that I, that I, that I have them, I walk them through. So as we're closing up the call and I already know, I already know I have them as a client. I'll say, okay, John, now I need to request access to your business page. And that's all I need. I don't need passwords. I don't need anything else. You're going to do the Instagram. You're going to do the LinkedIn. Watch out for my email. I'm going to send it to you right away. But mm -hmm. what I do need though, is I need you to, to I need, I need to request access to your business page so I can run this ad tonight. And so here's what I have them do. I have them go to settings. I have them go to page roles, but first I come over here and I go to business settings. Mm -hmm. This is what you got to do first. So as you're telling them, as you're saying, okay, okay, John, go to your business page. In the meantime, let me go to my business ads manager real quick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to request access. So here's what you do. You click on pages. And remember, this is for this one ad. This is for this one ad. I request, it, I request access to only the page. If we move on to step three and that guy becomes a monthly client, then I'm requesting access to his ad account. Okay, because okay, now Facebook... I'll have control of his ad account. That ad account is his ad account. That ad account has his credit card number. I'm running yeah. ads through his ad account, which now he can see on his end and mm -hmm. he'll be able to see all the analytics and Facebook charges him, but I still run it from my end, not having to log into his stuff. See. But that's step three. That's when we start running consistent ads. I'm requesting access to the ad account, but right now just one time ad, the like ad, I'm going to click on pages. I'm going to click on ad. I'm going to requ request access to a page. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to simply um, go to his business page. I'm going to watch. Let me go to any business page. 
let's see, I'll just click on anyone random. Let's click on, actually, that's my client. Mm -hmm. um, let's click on anyone else. Actually, I can do it, I can do it right here. So if I go to anyone's business page, here's what you wanna do. So even if it's a sponsored ad, I can still show you the example. So I, I come to the business page, I click, you see how you have all these characters at the top? Mm -hmm. I wanna clear all that out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click home. And boom, now I got the legit link. Mm. I take that, I copy that, and then I simply, let me um, log into my other one. I simply hit pages, I hit add, and here's what happens. So I hit pages, I hit add, I hit request access to a page, I paste in their URL, there it is there. I come down here and I request manage page. I want admin access. Just give me access to everything. Just so I don't have to bug you in the future if something, you know, if I need to update something. But I'll, I'll, I'll choose that one. That's the only one. And then I'll request access. After I do that, I say, okay, John, are you on your business page? Okay, great. So I just did it on my end. Now here's what I need you to do. I need you to go to your business page. In the top right, you're going to click on settings. And on the left, you're going to click on page roles. And if you click on page roles, John, you're going to see right there towards the middle. So settings and then page roles. And I'll tell them, I say, okay, John, scroll towards the middle of the page. There's page roles. I'll say, scroll down towards the middle and you're going to see my name. You're going to see, you're, and in your case, it could be your name. It could be your business page. But in this case, it's my, it's my inspired digital. So I say, scroll down and you're going to see inspired digital. What you're going to do is this button is going to say respond to request. So click on respond to request, Joe. And all it's going to do is walk you through the process, put in your password. And now I have access. And once I have access, what you got to do is you got to, you request access, you close that out. And then what you're going to do is you're going to refresh this page. This is what you're doing on your end. This is super, super important. You're going to refresh that page. And then you're going to see right here, you'll see their business page, like Cantero Kids Foundation. You'll see their business page, and then you'll see you now have access. You'll see that right here. But then what you have to do is you have to add your name. You have to add people. So you have to do this on your end. So just like I added myself right here, click on add people. And then, and then you'll see your name right here, right there. And then come down here, manage page, and then assign. Okay. That step right there is super, super important. I see. Okay. So now, now that you're assigned to the page, he accepted your request. Now, as you go in and you run an ad, so let's say, for example, we come in here now, we're going to run the like ad. Let's say um, we just start from the beginning and um, we get to the objectives. Let me show you. So we click on create and then, and this is a whole new layout. Facebook literally just changed my whole entire look of this ads manager this morning. So I don't know if you've seen this version of, of ads manager, but this is, this is some people have been on it for a while, but they literally changed this shit this morning for me. So, but it's this, it's the same thing. It's just a completely yeah, just different, different layout. layout. Yeah. So engagement page likes, and then you can name, always name it. So I'll, I'll say, I'll say page likes and I'll say Joe painter. Okay. And then I'll, and then I'll take that same name copy and I name it in the ad set. I'll name it in the ad. Those are your three steps. And then I'll hit continue or three different. Yeah. Steps, three different tabs, three different sets, mm -hmm. st uh, steps. But here's what I wanted to show you. If you didn't add your name, the way I just showed you two, two mm -hmm. minutes ago, then you, you're not going to see their page as you come over here. And as you go to, let's go to the, it's on the third step. As we come over here and we, and we go to Facebook page, if you didn't add your name the way I just showed you right now, you won't see them in this dropdown. Okay. I see. So you gotta, you gotta add your name and then, and then now you'll see them in the dropdown and all you do is mm -hmm. boom click on on their business page now the ad is running from their page i see okay okay and then also what i do is 
on the third step, um, on the actual image, though, you know, some may say, hey, yeah, I got an image or, hey, can you run it on this image? You can if you want, but but 100% of the time, I'll use Facebook's image. Yeah. So I'll come in here, I'll hit edit image, I'll hit change image, and then I'll hit account images, and I'll go down to stock images, and, just, and I'll just, Facebook. yeah, I'll just pull one from Facebook. So I'll put in house painter and, and see if, see what kind of images pull from, from those keywords. Yeah. And they're all beautiful images. So I'm sure something house painter, I'm sure something's going to pull and I'll mm -hmm. just, I'll just pick a cool one. Um, and then here's my last step that I do. Um, so I'll come in here and just, and just grab, grab like an awesome picture. Um, let me see if I can find one. And it will show you the actual dimensions too. Let me turn my Wi-Fi off. Um, so it will show you right here, 1000 by 667. Mm -hmm. So you always, you don't want to do the 1,333. That's too small. Always do 1,000 times at least 600 plus, at least 600 minimum. Um, and that's a good size. So all these different images, man, like I can, I can pull, I could pull any of these awesome images and, and use that. And then mm -hmm. let's say, for example, I just use, let's say I just use that one. I'll click on that one. Uh, okay. So, and then I hit continue and then, and then in the text, you can write, write whatever in the text. I'm always saying like page and share, like I'll put, I'll put like, I'll put like, it's a house painter. So I'll put, um, love, I'll just put like love, either love real estate because real estate's, you know, houses, or I'll put love painter, have a, have a passion and love for paint or have like, I'll put something stupid and, and, and short, like love, mm -hmm. love house painting or love the creativity from, 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 from a, from a house painter, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever that, what, whatever it is, it's a question. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's a question. So in this case, love real estate. It's a question. Love real estate, like page and share. That's what I do. Like page and share. And I'll just capitalize the beginning letter. So like page and share. So whatever that one question is, whatever, it could be whatever, but like yeah. page and share. And then what I do is I publish, right? And then, and then it, it goes into review. But what I always do, once it publishes, I'll come over here and, well, once it publishes, like, let me show you an example. Let me show you like a real example. Once it publishes, it doesn't even have to be, it doesn't even have to be um, live just yet. It could just be the fact that it's published and it's in review. Once it's in review, in fact, this one right here, I think is still in review. Let me check. That's scheduled. Um, actually it's scheduled already. That's fine. But, but it could be in review. It will say it right here, review. So I just set up this painter ad, right? I just published it. It, it is now in review. Even if it's in review, what I do, I still come over here. I'll click on edit. This is on the third tab, right? The third tab, the ad. And then I'll come over here and I'll hit this right here and I'll, I'll, I'll go Facebook desktop newsfeed. And then I'll, I'll take a look at what it looks like in real time, even though it's not live just yet, it's still in review, but for sure it's going to get approved and it'll be live in no time. I'll look at it from this view. I'll scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and boom, there goes the ad. I snapshot that and I email it to him. I say, hey, Joe, okay. ad is up. We'll be live any minute now. Here's a, here's a quick picture of it. We'll be, we'll be running this ad for the next 30 days. Our likes are going to, are going to go through the roof. So make sure you're paying attention to that, but also look out for my emails, man. I have my next email coming out. It's step three and I want you to schedule the call. So I know you're super busy. I'm super busy, but look out for my emails. And this is what I'm telling them in the email. Yeah. So I just onboarded them. I sent them that automated email that went out requesting all their information, but this email I physically sent to them myself. It's just a snapshot. I'll say, hey, Joe, here's, okay. here's the ad. And then in that email, I'm saying, hey, man, pay attention to the emails that I got coming up because you're not going to want to miss the appointment. That's when we start capturing leads, and I can't wait to talk to you about that. Have a great day. Do you, okay, quick question about the emails. Do you schedule all the way till the end of 
the like ad scheduling. So like probably say you schedule the like ad for three weeks to a month. Do you schedule your emails to for them to get the appointment scheduler? Like, hey, we're ready for step three. Yes. Do you have that towards the end of the no, the not, like not the end of the 30 days. What I have that set up for is I have that set up to go out 10 days later. Okay. So 10 to 14 days, actually 14, 14 days mm -hmm. later, two weeks later, two weeks later. So I'll say, Joe, this first one's going to run for 30 days, five bucks a day or 10 bucks a day or 15 bucks a day, whatever the hell he wants to spend. And I'll say, hey, we're going to have this one going. But in a couple mm -hmm. weeks, let's talk about step three. Because in a couple of weeks, we're going to have a good amount of likes by that time. Our links will be all optimized and listed. And in two weeks, that's when we should start capturing leads. So in okay. about a couple of weeks, look out for my email. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to be you know, designed to get you to schedule a call with me. You'll have a link to my calendar. And don't miss that email, John, because I, mm -hmm. I really want to start talking to, talking to you about local lead capture. And that's mm -hmm. the next step. I see. So okay. look out for my email. And, and then, yeah, I run everything through Kartra. Okay. And that, that's, that's simply your onboarding process. It's you're on the Zoom call and you take them to your Kartra and you fill out the information there. And then of course you take the card up front on the call that you're with them. That's like all you do for onboarding. You don't have them do contracts. You don't have a sign like, hey, we're doing this, this, and this. I you're don't, just man, I don't. Even if we get to step three and, and now we're running Facebook ads and, and, and capturing leads, I, I still don't have a contract. Okay. Yeah, like I, I still don't. Now you can, you can if you want. I know some people do. But it's kind of all up to you. I mean, okay, it, it's, it's I all up to you. Like I, yeah, thank God I, I haven't had anyone really. And, and maybe a couple of them will say, hey, well, hey, Dave, do you have a contract? I'll be like, you know what? To tell you the truth, I don't. Like, because it's month to month. I'm not tying you into anything. I'm not, you know, having mm -hmm. you overcommit. I'm not charging you thousands of dollars. So to tell you the truth, John, it's freaking 500 bucks or it's a thousand bucks. Like, I don't, I mean, they're not going to get all. Yeah. It's like, and especially when I tell them it's month to month, like I'm not here to charge you and put you in a contract long term. We're going to start yeah. small. We're going to start slow and we're going to just go month to month. So a contract really isn't needed. Yeah. That's perfect. Cause I prefer not to do all that. That's where yeah, I got exactly. caught up. I, exactly. I got caught up trying to create and do all that. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do extra stuff. Yeah, man. Don't worry about any of that stuff. Just get the ball rolling, you know, mm -hmm. use, use one as a case study and, mm -hmm. and just, and just, and with that alone, man, you can, you can crush it. Okay. Um, but again, it comes down to the way I just did it is it just comes down to, 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 to friending them first mm -hmm. and then, and then building the relationship. Now you're friends. Now you start commenting on all their stuff. Now, now you start, you know, as you're going through the news feed, you start clicking like on all their stuff. Like you share their stuff, like, and, and, and by you doing that, your name you know, obviously pops up in their notifications, right? Like anytime, yeah. right? Like comment, notification, like, notification. Damn, this guy keeps liking all my shit. Your name sticks out. Yeah. And, and so the more you do it, it's, it's, just, it's just helping you brand yourself even more. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, so, so I'll come here. I'll just request a bunch of people. I'll go on a request blitz every day. I mean, now, now I, I'm maxed out, you know, I, I've yeah. been at 5,000 forever now, but this is how I got to 5,000. I would just request a shitload every day. Um, and I would either do it. And, and once you, once you, once you really start requesting a bunch of painters, you're not going to have to search for them the way we did it the, in the beginning after Facebook really starts to, because Facebook's optimizing you as well. They're finding out what the hell you're clicking like on. They're tracking everything you're doing as well. Mm -hmm. So if they find that you keep requesting friends that are this type of person, mm -hmm. then if you click on this right here, friend request, all of this, see, I just requested a, a few today, so it's not showing me anymore right here. But what you'll do is you'll click on this and you'll see a bunch, a list right here of a bunch of painters. Yeah. I see. You'll see it right here. You'll even see it on your cell phone. Like you'll mm -hmm. see, you'll see a bunch of painters and, and you can just start requesting them from there. Okay. Rather than having to come over here and search the word, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a like they they do like recommended quote unquote. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They start recommending this the the same person in that same industry. I see. Perfect. So I can read. Oh, man, you don't know how much I appreciate all this. This is so. You're this welcome, is so bro. insightful. You're welcome. Now let me ask you this: Why painters? Why roofers? What made you choose that? Um. It's easy to get a hold of them. I found that it's way easier to get a hold of, of someone, you know, unlike so 
where I where I started with fitness, it's way easier to get a hold of the actual business owner. So I can go on Craigslist and I can be like, hey, I see that you have at least a social media. I can do this, this, and this. I can start pitching what I'm going to do, and I can get direct contact with the business owner. I can step right in and know that if I get one lead for them specifically, mm-hmm. it perfect. It it pays like. Un, unlike going to a dentist, there's no there's no secretary you have to talk. You don't have to get yeah, to the front yeah. desk. You don't have to battle. Yeah. So you can get straight to the point with everything. That's why I yep. I chose to go into these, and of course, like the five niches that I I have, they have a high like a high ticket, like mm-hmm. high pricing. So if I were to do even hardwood floors, that's one that I looked at before. One client can pay for what I do, and it can yep. manage what I do. Yep. And, I would come to think that making one lead for them can be yep. something doable. And and here's what I'll leave you with. As you start to go on a request blitz, right? Mm-hmm. That's what I would do first is request a bunch of them first and then, and then, and then crack the code on that, get a client that way, direct message them, get them on zoom screen share, just like this. I don't, I don't, there's not one person that I've spoken to on the phone on mm-hmm. the phone. There's not one appointment that I've taken on the phone, bro, since 2016. Mm. 100% has been on Zoom. And I tell yeah. them the reason why it's Zoom is so I can share, share my screen and visually show you this stuff. Mm. If I try to verbally tell you over a phone call, bro, you're going to be lost. Yeah, You ain't going to know what the hell I'm talking about. So I visually show you, I use Zoom. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, once, once we schedule the call, let me know your best time, send me your email. Um, and I'll email you a link to my Zoom call and I'll put it on the calendar and schedule us. And I schedule it through Kartra mm-hmm. because Kartra sends out the reminder, um, which is super, super important. But mm-hmm. but here, here's what I was saying is that after you do that and get the client, get a client that way, you turn it into a case study. Now, no more requesting friends, no more even no more even needing to hit them through the DM. What I would do at that point, once I have a legit customer, I optimize their links. I got their likes up to 5,700. Mm-hmm. We're, now, we're now running weekly ads and I'm capturing leads. Mm-hmm. I would then take that and I would make that my case study, but I would start running Facebook ads to painters. And mm-hmm. say, hey Target guys, this is David. Things. Let me just show you a quick screen share of what I did with my recent client, blah, blah, blah. And by the way, if you'd like me to do this, or if you'd like to set up a free strategy call, I can kind of walk you through the ins and outs of how I did this for my client. Click the button below. It'll take you straight to my, my, my webpage where you can schedule the time. I cannot wait to speak to you. Mm. So now you yeah. use that case study as a Facebook ad and you start getting painters to schedule appointments with you that way. Okay. And that eliminates, that's inbound. That's inbound. That's all inbound. That yeah. eliminates you having a prospect. I see. Perfect. And, and, and a small, small question for when you get to step three, that's kind of why, you know, I wanted to have this call is how, what, what content do you have them provide for the ads? Like, what do you have them saying? Is it just anything that they're doing in their job or do you kind of yes. have like a layout? Like the, I know the first one is an introduction. I know mm-hmm. the first video is usually like, Hey, this is what I do. This is what my business. I just want to introduce myself as like authentic mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. What do you do to roll out content for them? Do you ask them to give free value? Do you ask them to? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, and yes. It becomes a weekly TV show, I tell them. I say, dude, you're now, it's now Joe's weekly TV show. And in this weekly TV show, Joe, what you're going to do is you're going to put out one video per week. And this Mm -hmm. one video is going to be based on something you're doing. Maybe, maybe, Maybe you're going over a strategy or you're given some type of tip on how you paint an exterior of a home. Mm-hmm. Maybe you're inside of a home and you're, do, you're going to pull out your phone this week. Number two, you're going to do a simple video of you painting the inside of the house and you're going to show some before and afters and really kind of go over the details and educate us on how you did it, how you chose the paint, the type of texture that's going down. You're going to educate mm-hmm. us in two to three minute video, Joe's. And at the end of the video, you're going to say, Hey guys. And by the way, if you'd like a free estimate or if you'd like a free consultation call, or if you'd like me to come out to you and give you guys a free quote, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my web page where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. So now the video becomes some type of educational video with a call to action. Yep. Joe's now telling that person, that viewer to click the button below to schedule a free consultation. Mm-hmm. 
So, so there has to be some kind of call to action um, in the ad mm -hmm. video recommended. But again, you're going to find, you're going to bump into that wall where not everyone wants to do video. So, yeah. so that's another challenge is that most are not going to want to do video. And, and that's, that's another thing that I tell them on, 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 on the first call. I'm like, I'm like, Hey Joe, we're going to start here. Step one, step two, but I'm gonna tell you right now, not many get to step three because majority of people are still afraid of the camera. They're camera shy. They're not willing to put themselves out there like that. And that's going to hinder them. Yeah. This social media, Joe, is all about personal branding. We got to let your city know who the hell you are. So if mm -hmm. you want to hide behind an image, if you want to hide, like, dude, we pulled up house painters. Ain't no one have their face on there. Yeah. They're all hiding. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll use that to my advantage. I'm like, Joe, look at all your competitors, bro. Like every one of them suck. Like none of them are, are branding themselves. They're all hiding behind an image. Mm -hmm. You can do it that way. Or we could put your face out there, which is what I want to do. And I want to get that entire town to know who the hell you are. Yeah. And it's going, only going to happen by putting your face out and doing some simple videos on this stuff that you're a freaking pro at. You got to keep mm. that in mind, Joe. I'm not having you do videos on freaking cartwheels. I'm having you do freaking videos on painting shit you know better than anybody in the freaking world. Mm -hmm. You do this for a living. You're telling me you can't break down a two-minute video on, on teaching me how the hell you do it? Mm. Yeah, right. Yes, you can. You're just camera shy. Well, hey, Joe, we're 2020. This is social media. Everyone and their mother is freaking scrolling through their damn news feed. It's time mm -hmm. we step out of the freaking cocoon shell, and we it's time we open up, bro. Like, I need you to open up. I want to brand the hell out of you. By the time I'm done with a few videos, trust me, everyone's going to know who, who the hell you are. And that's Perfect. a good thing. Perfect. So that's what I'm saying. At the end of – you're closing for a week, 12 a month. You're going to have two to three of them that say, you know what, dude, I can do this. Let's do this. Game time. How much, how much is it per month to start capturing leads? Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. But at least in the meantime, you're able to feed your family. And the, these little wins, bro, yeah, 150, 300, these little wins add up, man. They add up. Like I'll make, I'll make a minimum of minimum 1,000 a week on the front end. Mm -hmm. On the front end. And that, that's just on the front end. And then again, at the end of the month, as my onboarding emails are going out, people are scheduling the calls, scheduling calls, and then I'm getting them back on the phone to, do, to, to get them as a monthly client. And, and, and that, that ain't nothing new. I've been doing that forever. But see, where I'm at in my career now is I'm simply packaging everything up and I'm, I'm creating an online course. I see. That's where I'm at now. So I don't want monthly clients anymore. I want to teach them how to people, do it themselves. You want to have people do it. Yeah, Come I want them to pay. do it themselves. Mm -hmm. And I want them to buy my course and I want to run Facebook ads to my webinar and get you to pull out your credit card for nine ninety seven, And I want to sell 10 of those per day while I'm freaking sleeping. That's crazy. That's you know, crazy. so that's yeah. where I'm at now. Mm -hmm. Um, but, but that everything I just told you, bro, is how I, is how I, you know, got, you got here. here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That helps a lot. Yeah. And, and I, I know that when you, when you add the people and when you, when you get them all added, you just ask them to get on a call with you over DMs, right? Like that's how you did it. Oh yeah, bro. Yeah. You yeah. I'll say, it. shoot me in the DM. I'll say, Hey man, shoot me your email and best time tomorrow. That's a, that's another key thing, bro. I'm 100% mm -hmm. I'm going for a call for tomorrow. I ain't mm -hmm. saying next week. If it's, if it's, if it's Wednesday, no, I ain't saying let's talk next Monday. Hell no. Tomorrow. No. Like, 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 even if they try to reply back, Oh, I'm, I'm free next week. Okay, cool. Talk. Uh, uh, maybe I'll try to message you back, but I don't, I don't message them back. Maybe I'll keep them as a friend on Facebook. Maybe I'll unfriend them, uh -huh. but I'm telling you 99, 99% of the time, bro, I'm shooting for the next day appointment and they're willing to give it up. I see. So very rarely do I say, well, very rarely do I hear, well, you know what? Tomorrow won't work, but I can do it next week. I rarely Most hear that. Minutes, Thank God. Yeah. Most are, are, are ready. Most, most want to talk now. Even, even just introducing, you just introduce yourself and say that in the introduction, like, Hey, I am blah, blah, blah. Let's talk tomorrow about what I can do to get you more social credibility and build your social presence. Is that what you say in the first message that you out to people? Yeah. I could say, Hey man, I'd love to give you some strategies. I'd love to give you some tips on, on, on what you can do yourself. Mm -hmm. to really build your social media brand and capture more leads. I see. Because no okay. one's building a social media brand and no one's capturing leads on social media. And the reason why is because, well, two reasons. On their personal Facebook page, it don't matter how many friends they got. 
they are a local business owner. I don't care if you got 1200 friends. I don't, I don't care if you got 5,000. If you're a local business owner, you're servicing your local area. 99% of your 4,500 friends, Joe, live across the country. So if you're over here posting your business over here, 99% of your friends don't care because they don't live in the area. So that's yeah. the one reason why you're not capturing leads because the majority of the people that are seeing your stuff don't live in the area. And number two reason why you're not capturing leads on social media is because you're not running Facebook ads, Joe. And if you ran them in the past, you ran them wrong. So if you're telling me you tried Facebook ads before and you spent a few bucks here and didn't do nothing, I'm here to tell you right now, you didn't do it the right way. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do is I'd love to maybe strategize with you. I can, I, I do free strategy calls. I'd love to just give you some tips. I'd love to show you some of my clients, compare their page to your page and really show you what it takes to really win in 2020 on social media. In fact, Joe, these tips and, 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 and tricks that I'm going to show you, in fact, you can do a lot of these yourself. Mm -hmm. All I ask for Joe, if I'm going to give you the time, I'm going to give you a free strategy call. All I ask is you give me a good review. Mm -hmm. That's how I get the phone call. When mm -hmm. I'm on the phone call, I close them on running the like ad. And then I tell them again, okay, you're going to give me a good review. Yeah. But just to get you on the call in the beginning, I'll say, hey, man, I'll give you all these tips. I'll, I'll, I'll give you my time. I'll show you what I do for other you know, painters and what I help them with. And these are mm -hmm. all tips and strategies you can do yourself. But all I ask for is a good review. They'll reply back and say, shit, is that all you're asking? Because they're, they're thinking that I'm, that I'm charging them. They're thinking right away that, okay, what's this, gonna char what's this guy going to charge me? It's like, no, dude, I'm going to charge you a good review. So I'm willing to give you my time. I'm willing to schedule the call. Just make sure you give me a good review on my business page because I'm going to give you all these strategies that no one's pitching you. And these are things that are going to help you build your social media brand and capture more leads. Mm -hmm. So now when you spin it that way, they're like, okay, shit, here's my email. Can we do it tomorrow at 10? Perfect. I'll add it to the calendar and email you a confirmation. And that's why I do it through Kartra because when I schedule the appointment through Kartra, it emails them a confirmation. It also emails them a reminder an hour before the, before our call. And in that email is a link to my Zoom. I see. That's perfect. So, so I make that messaging sound like I'm willing to give you these tips and strategies for free. free. These you can do yourself. And I'm not lying because step one, I'm going to have you do yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you freaking John's painting. Um, we're going to look at Joe's painting. I'm going to show you the difference and I'm going to, I'm going to show you how you could do it yourself. But here's what, ha here's what also happens. Nine out of 10 times, even if you show them how to do it, they're going to be like, damn, damn, bro. Like to tell you the truth, I ain't got no time to tell you the truth. I ain't got the patience to tell you the truth. I can barely turn on my computer. What mm -hmm. would it, what would it cost for you to just do it for me? Okay. Well, here's the deal, John. I'll run the like ad. I'll do step one for you, mm -hmm. but you're going to owe me a good review. Mm. And, and to tell you the truth, you can even sprinkle some money on that if you wanted. You could charge them an extra hundred just to do the damn links. But I, I spin it in a way where I'm, I'm doing it for them just, just so it adds more value. Yeah. And, and I'm already making a stupid margin on the like ad anyways. Mm -hmm. And my ultimate objective and my ultimate goal is to get them back on the phone where I'm now charging them monthly. So, oh, I see. so as long as I'm making a decent margin on the like ad, I don't need to also charge them to do the links. I'll just make it sound like I'm doing it for free and they appreciate the shit out of it. Then they go, that's why you go look at my reviews, bro. Like I ain't playing. You go look at all my reviews. You read the damn reviews. It's like, holy shit. I'm like God to them uh -huh. because yeah. they're like, dang, dude, this guy really hooked me up. Like never before. Like, look, we go to Becky's page. Rip realtor, rip realtor, rip realtor, rip realtor, yeah. rip realtor. Her page didn't look like that prior. She had no idea. She wasn't even thinking that prior. Like you go to Kristen's page, we come to Kristen's page. We're doing it now. Gay Gallardi Homes, K Gallardi Homes, K Gallardi Homes. Like her page, her her page was blank, just like Joe the Painter. Yeah, that's crazy. And so it's like they none of them know how to do that. Mm -hmm. and, and so it's like it's not until I tell them or I show them. And again, a lot of times they're gonna be like, "Damn, David, I don't got the time. You just do it for me." Mm -hmm. I'm like, "Okay, cool. Well, to tell you the truth, it, it costs. You know, it, it, it's it's gonna be a little bit more." But, you know, if, 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 if you want me to do it, I could totally do it. But again, at the same time, I just, I, I'm just like, okay, cool. I'll do that part for you. Cause to tell you the truth, that part takes me 20 minutes. As I long see. as I have their login, 
their correct mm -hmm. Instagram, LinkedIn, as long as there's no passwords that are incorrect, that takes me 20 minutes. But at the same yeah. time, it's still 20 minutes. That's why what I moved to now is I just recorded a damn video and I said, bro, this stuff is super simple. Watch my 10 minute video. You'll be able to link that in two minutes. Yeah. But I'm going to run the like ad. You're going to pay for it and you're still going to give me a good review. I see. Yeah. You know, so. Uh, uh uh, backtracking just just a second when you're when you're doing the linking when you're when you're doing step one for everybody um how are you doing the are you still doing the website like getting their website domain to mm -hmm. be the like matching with everything are you doing that yep. through GoDaddy and yep yep i am so and I what, is that, what is what is that process called so i um, i know how to link the new domain to their current website if they have a website or well, if they don't have a website yeah, if they don't, it's all about it's all about the domain. So if they don't uh -huh. have a website, no big deal, Joe. What I want to do right now is I want to lock the domain. So if this okay. is your company name and you don't have this domain, you're screwed. Okay. So so I'll go get the domain for you. And what I do is I just go to GoDaddy. I I first of all, I'll go to I'll go to incognito. I'll go to Google. I'll type in cheap domains. And I tell them, I say, Joe, it's going to cost a buck. I'll go do it for you. And this is how I do it. So I go, I go to um, Google. I type in cheap domains. And because I did it a million times, it might not be showing me. But if you do it on your end, you'll be, see, you should see the coupon. It, it'll be the ad. It'll be right here toward the top. It'll say 99 cents for the year. And it'll be GoDaddy. Like yeah. you could do Namecheap, but I just did everything through GoDaddy. Uh -huh. But you'll see it there. And I'll register it for a buck. And, and it's all about the domain. And if they don't have a website, I'll say no big deal, man. We'll just forward it to your Facebook page. Oh, oh you can do that? You can forward? Yeah, dude. You don't need domain. to have a website. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I see. But, so, the whole, so I'm not here to pitch them a website. What I want to do is I just want to, I want to pitch them the Good links. Though. Like, let's just lock this name for everything. And I'm telling you, man, when it comes to a business owner, when it comes to having pride, when you can go out there and get that name for everything and then you and then you look at your shit and you're like, damn, dude, that looks legit. That's my company name. Now I'm on, now I got everything on lock. Yeah. They appreciate that, bro. This is a 55-year-old painter that don't know nothing about this. Mm -hmm. And when you do that for them, they appreciate you, bro. Whether you're teaching them how to do it or whether you're doing it for them, I would recommend you in your case do it for them mm -hmm. in the beginning. And as you start to do it, then you can go create your own little 10-minute video. Yeah. Right. So once you do that, man, they appreciate it. And again, that's me starting them off small, telling them to check their email. Cause we're going to talk about step three next. Yeah. You're just really getting them up the value ladder. Yeah. That's all it is, trust. bro. I'm taking them up the value ladder, mm -hmm. you know? So that's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much it. So hopefully that made sense. It all made sense then. Are you are you recording this this yeah, call? Yeah, I am. I am. Um, is it too much to ask if no, I can I'll, get a, I'll like get it a for you, bro. I'll get it for oh, you. Perfect. And and here's perfect. the deal: step up your game on your personal page. So your personal Facebook page look it, it better look legit. Like all them links better. Be I already up. got I already got all my links. I just okay. don't have content posted. Awesome, bro. Awesome. It don't it don't even, the content don't even matter right now. Just get all them links mm -hmm. listed. Get your business page up and going. Um, yeah, get those links there. over here in the about section of the business page. That's so right here, you should have everything listed. Yeah. Um, and then do me one huge favor. Do me one huge favor. Give me a review on this page right here. I got you. And I'm going to hook you up too. I'm going to write one on, you, on, on your page as well. I got you. Thank you. So that would be much, much appreciated, bro. And hit me up anytime, man. We'll jump on another call. But let's crush it, man. Let's crush. Yeah, and also, by the sure. way, out there in Arizona, are you seeing panels going up on residential homes? Solar? Um, slowly actually across the street like i'm looking out my window right now they have construction over there and some of the houses do have solar so it's like i i see it right now that that's that's a that's a big business bro and and, and i'm literally partnered with a with the number one company that that company power is ridiculous like i, one, I tried keep going you watch the, the presentation I tried to get through a presentation, but I saw it had like a mentorship or like an apprentice. Watch it again, thing. bro. Watch it again. Like watch it again. Like it's ridiculous. Okay. Like one one customer and and it's not even a sell. Like it's not even a sell. Like I ain't selling solar. Like it ain't a sell. It's simply giving a homeowner a proposal, showing them mm -hmm. what numbers would look like if they were to go solar. 
showing mm -hmm. them what they're currently paying versus what they'd be paying if they were to go solar. And to mm -hmm. go solar, it doesn't cost them anything. That's why these panels are going up like crazy, especially in California. Every home is going solar because it's zero down. It doesn't cost the homeowner anything out of pocket. Really? Okay. Yeah, bro. That, that's why. It's not like these people have to spend 50 grand up front. No, they're financing the panels. So if, if a home wants to go oh. solar, it's zero down. They finance mm -hmm. the solar panels for the next 20, 25 years. But that monthly payment is their monthly payment. And that monthly payment is less than what they're currently paying right now. Holy so it, it's like Pardon a no brainer for a homeowner. Mm -hmm. Like it's no brainer. Like you're showing me, like, especially with you guys out there in AZ, let's say someone's monthly electricity payment was 300 a month. Let's just say 300 a month. Mm -hmm. If they were to go solar, let's say for example, that payment would be 150 mm -hmm. and it costs them zero to go solar. Their monthly bill drops by half. And now it's a fixed rate for the next 25 years. Unlike their utility company, they're paying 300, but every year it goes up. Yeah. Cause it's the utility company, they can change the rate whenever the hell they want to change the rate. But mm -hmm. when you go solar, you're now in a fixed rate. So now that 150 is fixed over the duration of the loan payment, which let's just say is 25 years. Mm -hmm. So you, you instantly win upfront and long-term. You got it for zero down, didn't cost you anything. Mm -hmm. And your monthly payment, on your electricity is half of what you were already paying and it's fixed. And all I'm mm. saying is that, yeah, the mentorship program, like the company, we train you on all that stuff, mm -hmm. but it's literally getting a copy of someone's utility bill, submitting it, requesting a proposal from power, and then sharing that proposal with the homeowner. Like it's that, it's that basic, bro. Mm. It's that basic. It's that simple. But what I'm saying is that your commission on that is absolutely ridiculous. Like ridiculous, like ridiculous, bro. Yeah, I, like I ridiculous. Saw it. Jeez, man. Like ridiculous. I got boys that are making ten grand, thirteen grand, fifteen grand, eighteen grand per deal. That's crazy. So when you see the whole state going solar, it, it, it's a trend, bro. Like out here in California, it's a trend. Everyone is uh -huh. going solar. Out here in San Diego, every home is going solar. It's a trend. Mm -hmm. And so this company power is the only solar company paying out that kind of money. Like that's why, again, why I jumped back aboard because now that I know how to run Facebook ads, you can, you can, you I'm going to start running Facebook it. ads for customers, man. Yeah. Oh, and, that's and, crazy. And start, you know, closing a few of those per week, you know, making, let's just say average seven grand per deal, start closing two to three of them a week. Jeez. And, 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 and again, man, the proposal, the offer, it's not mm -hmm. like I'm taking money from the homeowner. It doesn't cost them anything up front. There's zero, it's zero out of pocket. I can't take your money if you wanted to give me money, mm -hmm. Mr. Homeowner. Like it, it doesn't cost you anything. It's zero down. Yeah. So you got to take a look at another video, bro. Like take another look at what? another video because I think we're open in Arizona. I think we're doing business in Arizona. Okay, um, that'd be perfect. And, and even, even if you're not right now, I'm moving to California. I'm moving to Sacramento. I plan on by the end of, end of august so bro, it, it'll come really on. be opened up come on bro You're but, um, come on like we gotta crush it bro like i'm telling yeah. you the facebook ad that's why again that's another reason why because i'm like damn i spent all this time learning facebook ads now i can run them for myself for a high ticket mm -hmm. that, that's the thing that I, i've noticed with facebook like it can really lead me into me doing this it can lead me mm -hmm. i've looked at broadly i've looked broadly at drop shaping like now that I know mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. it can lead into that. But if this solar thing really takes off, I can do that with the Bro. knowledge that I came from my work. Like this is what I want to work at. So it's it's a tool. It's a tool that I'm. It's powerful. It's crazy how powerful yes, this is. Yes, yes, and that's why I do. Like even with you being in AZ, you mm -hmm. can run a Facebook ad to any state that we're doing solar in and and capture leads and close those deals. Like, That's and their crazy. one call closes. It's not like, it's not like it's a multiple call and we got to be on calls forever. No, just it's one damn call. Mm -hmm. Like I get a copy of a utility bill. I submit it. I then set an appointment with the homeowner. We do it mm -hmm. all through zoom. So I'm sharing my screen and going over the numbers with them. They're signing a virtual contract. Deal is done. That's crazy. And you're getting like, paid for doing that. Yes, bro. Like, yes. Like it's ridiculous. Like I just got back started again, but I'm going to start closing deals and I can easily see myself closing two to three a week um, by simply, and my whole strategy is to go out to my local neighborhood and do a simple two minute video in front of a house that has solar. 
and, 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 and maybe in the beginning, since I don't have a customer yet in the beginning, that video, make it sound like that's my customer. You know, I'll just throw it right outside of my house and do that with it where bro, I'm living at. Bro, <laughs> hey guys, hey guys, just wanted to come on here, kind of share, you know, a couple minutes on my ex on my current cu customer. We just added panels on this home right here. This homeowner was spending 400 a month with their utilities. Now with solar, they're spending 175 per month. They got it at zero down and blah, blah, blah. And by the way, if you'd like a free quote, Click the button below. It'll take you straight to my webpage where you can schedule a call. I'd love to kind of share with you and compare the numbers with you to see if solar might be best for you. Click the button below. I'll see you on the next page. Have a great day. That's crazy. Like, like, like. I'm, I'm, I'm like picturing it all right now. I'm just like, holy shit. Bro, like, I'm telling can... you, there's not, everyone that I'm jumping on these calls with are, are people just like you. They're looking to start an agency. They're looking to, looking to get clients like that, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you right now, bro, like you go get one solar customer. Like, like it, it, it's a completely different commission, man. It's a completely different. Yeah, it's a different game. It's a, di it's, it's, it's better. Like it's better. Yeah, like it, it one, sounds better. I'm telling you, bro, what, one thing you're going to hate now, I don't know if you're going to hate it, but what I hate is I hate clients. Like I don't want monthly clients. Like I don't want you calling me every five minutes wondering how your freaking mm -hmm. ad is doing. Like I don't, yeah. I'm not, I don't want to work for you. I don't want to work for nobody, period. Like, not, like, like I'm that's right and that, that's what happens so as you start to get multiple clients that's why now i have a i have a couple clients right now but i don't want more than that like mm -hmm. because it becomes a circus and and, yeah. and you're working for them like you're you know that that that's the that's what we're trying to get out of you know that's what like i'm trying to get out of people. bro like i ain't trying to work for you like no mm -hmm. like but but a handful i got my handful that are that are really you know my my best friends mm -hmm. but but other than that like i had to go i had to i had to learn the hard way and, and, and get to the point where I had a ton of clients and I'm like, dude, I don't like this. You know, mm -hmm. I don't like this. That, that's why I charge the, the, the little bit up front so I can at least eat that way yeah. and not have to depend on having high monthly clients because I really people. don't want high monthly clients anymore. And that's yeah. why I'm moving to teaching people through my course so I could just mm -hmm. teach them how to do it them freaking damn selves. And you're still getting paid. Hey, if you charge a thousand right? dollars for your course, that's five yeah. people a day coming in and closing that. Right. Perfect. That, that could be major as well. So, so, but, but at the same time, man, I, I, I have a completely different vision with, with solar. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I just see that as, as, as something huge, like enormous where it's, where it's not just you making money. It's, yeah. it's you making an impact. That's how I look yeah. at it, man. Cause I've been praying about this forever. Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Do I go out there and just crush courses or do I go out there and go all in with solar and, mm -hmm. and with solar, it's just, it's a completely different feeling it's a it's it's that feel good feeling it's that yeah. impact you're actually making an impact on the world yeah you're you're, you're completely mm -hmm. getting you're, you're you're taking people off of fossil fuels and depending on the local utility company yeah. to, to making people go green on renewable clean energy i love hearing that I like love, it's a completely different pitch bro and, it, yeah. and if i can make that kind of money per deal and not have to take money from you mm -hmm. that's powerful see when that's you go up the value ladder in any of these marketing programs. Yeah. I'll get you on 300 right now, but guess what? In a couple weeks, I'm gonna get you on 2000. And guess what? After that, I'm going to get you on 10 grand. Like mm -hmm. I have to keep taking your money, money. Yeah. But to this. make, to make that big ticket myself. Right. I like, I, I don't, I don't really, I don't necessarily want to do that. Like, mm -hmm. like, like I follow these marketers just like you do. And, and it's the same thing. They'll have, they'll have their done for you services. Then they'll mm -hmm. have a course that they can sell you. And then they have a coaching program that they can sell you. And, and that yeah. coaching program's 10 grand. Mm -hmm. So you're taking 10 grand from me, bro. You're taking 10 grand from my working freaking me, like from my working ass, right? You're taking my 10 grand from my back pocket mm -hmm. to make your, to make your profit. Right, bro. And so there's that. And then there's other products where we can make a big ass commission and I ain't taking their money. And one, one industry like that is mortgages. I was a mortgage guy. So mm -hmm. if you come to me to buy a house, you're, I'm not taking your money, mm -hmm. but the bank I'm, I'm giving you a loan. Cause I work for the bank. I'm a mortgage guy. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you a loan to buy the house and my commission comes out of that. Mm -hmm. That's like a feel good product where I can make seven, eight, nine, ten grand and it didn't come from you. Yeah. Real estate is the same. The real estate agent is making that seven, eight grand and the homeowner did not pay them. Um, yeah. Solar, same thing, dude. Like, but with solar again, the homeowner pays zero, zero. and I make that big commission. <laughs> like that's what gets me excited, bro, is that I, I can I make seven to ten grand and I didn't take anyone's hard earned money. And that's per deal? 
That's per deal, bro. I ain't playing. That's per deal. That's per deal. And all I'm saying with you being out there in Arizona, you're going to see these panels going up. This is a trend. Like this ain't going to stop. Like Mm -hmm. you're out there in the desert. Like people are going clean. They're going green energy. The the electricity, Mm -hmm. the energy is coming from the freaking sun, bro. That is burning Mm -hmm. so freaking hot in your state. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Like we're shifting the planet. That's why I'm saying it's that feel good it's that feel good Every, everything about it from from moving on from our current situation and for better of the planet in itself and yes, you're making bro. what you need to make off of it if you're making your living off of supporting what you live on and that's crazy i love hearing that specifically especially right? from you like you're bro, not I'm telling you you're I'm not in it you. just for money that's why I was I was talking to another guy. He's he he's going after starting an agency and, and even going after real estate agents. I'm like, bro, it's all good. I'm gonna share with you all my secret strategies on them because to tell you the truth, I'm slowly getting out of it. I'm gonna go back into solar and I'm gonna crush what I learned with Facebook ads. I'm gonna crush it for solar. And and mm-hmm. and, and, and and that's kind of where where I'm 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 pivoting. So yeah, man, because I yeah, I just I just see it as as a as a as I see it as that chess move. I see it as a big play. Nice. I see it as as not just me making money as a marketer. I see it as a freaking impacting a, the world yeah. type of business. You know, I love that. And that's a, that's that makes me feel good, bro. I can I can make a shitload. I can I can help people. I can help the environment. I can help the planet. And I and I don't got to take hard earned money from an individual. Yeah, I love just that. to make my money. Yeah, for sure. You know? So, and even with these business owners, bro, don't get it twisted. These are normal people. These are working hard people. These are small business owners. So a couple grand to a business owner, don't get it twisted. Just because they're a business owner, don't think they got a ton of money. These are people Mm -hmm. that are also living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. And, 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 and with all this crap that we're going through right now, a lot of businesses are, businesses are even hurting. Mm -hmm. So if you think that you could just grab a G out of someone real quick, it ain't that easy. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's, that's another reason why I start them off small. You know, Mm -hmm. so people are hurting right now. People are looking for opportunity. Can marketing help anyone's business? Hell yeah. So you can feel good with that too. I mean, don't get me wrong. I feel good. People appreciate what we do with this. Mm -hmm. I feel good. But at the same time, I want to make bigger money and and I want to, I want to, I want to impact the world. Bigger impact. You know, so I see it happening with that. I just happen to be partnered with, with the number one solar company that's going to, that's going to absolutely demolish the industry. Demolish, Mm -hmm. bro. Demolish the industry. And so, I can I can get all the information off YouTube if I wanted your YouTube. Yeah, just go to my YouTube channel. This is this is one that you should watch. Um, there's actually a couple, but let me just um, let me just direct you what to what which one to watch. Go watch. Um, I mean, dang, you can watch any of these, man. You can watch Six Figures in Solar from Home, Work from Home. You can watch the um, the Average Commission. This is with the CEO. Mm-hmm. So watch, maybe watch. Maybe watch this one, the six figures from this six figures in solar from home, or watch this this one right here, work from home mm-hmm. solar opportunity. Watch one of those, and then watch this. The average commission is seventy one hundred because that's a mm-hmm. forty minute video with the CEO. Okay, I like see. the CEO is just giving a monthly update of where the company is at, and this was not too long ago. This is a video that 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 the company did that the CEO did um, oh. on June twenty second. I see. Yeah. So this is a, a, a real, real new video. And he's just given a, a kind of a, a state of the union type of type of mm-hmm. update of where the company is at, yeah. um, where the company is at, the commissions that are happening, where the industry is at and how we're just dominating and how we are going to dominate the mm-hmm. entire world with solar. We're, t- we're on a mission, like on a mission, mission, mission to panel the entire planet. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. That's so, perfect. So when you have an income opportunity tied to that, it's not just working for a solar company. I ain't no employee. I ain't working for no one. But mm-hmm. if you're going to allow me to partner up with you and, and we can make a killing together, talk to me. Mm-hmm. Right? And that's this opportunity. That's what this company is all about is partnering with people, partnering with entrepreneurs, giving you your own you know, tools and, and, and software and, and, and resources needed and, and supporting you to go crush it with them. Perfect. You know, so, so this is what I'm really excited about, bro. So watch, watch a couple of these videos, watch this one for sure, because this is the CEO right here, this white boy right here in the white t-shirt. This dude mm-hmm. right here is an online marketer. He made tens of millions online in his twenties, which was back in the early two thousands. Mm-hmm. So he was already a Facebook ad, Google ad online marketer. He made millions online before even starting this company. Yeah. 
So now he started a solar company five years ago, which is this company. Mm -hmm. And now we're crushing it in solar, but this is Mm -hmm. an online marketer. He's an online marketer. Mm -hmm. So yeah, bro. Watch, watch a couple of these and, and just hit me up, hit me up sooner than later. And through all the videos, all the information will be provided on what I need. And yeah, bro. Yeah. Again, watch these first couple ones up here, six mm-hmm. figures work from home and then, and then watch this average Absolutely. commission. Okay. And after Perfect. that, you'll, you'll have a good idea. And, 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 and then even this one right here, how affiliates are making up to 15 K per deal. Mm-hmm. Like all these right here, man, all these are, 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 are the latest videos on, on the company and what we're doing. Okay. That'll be perfect. I'll definitely take a look at all this. Yeah. This one right here too. This is the recent one that I just put up, but this was, um, I, I think I saw this one briefly. This is the have... one that we just did. Um, and I'm actually in this one. So there's me uh-huh. at the bottom right there. Yeah. Yeah. I think Basically. I saw this one briefly. I saw that you didn't, I was, I was skimming through this one. You know, was yeah. Watch this video. one, bro. Watch this one. This is a good one right here. But then mm-hmm. also whatever you watch, watch this average commission, watch that one after. Just so you can, because that's not a presentation. These other ones are presentations, but Uh this one over here is not a presentation. It's a simple call with the owner of the company. Okay, I see. And so after you watch the presentation and then you you watch him, you'll be like, okay, damn, these guys are about to crush it. Perfect. Okay. I'll definitely take a look at all this. Yeah, man. Let's, let's, let's stay in touch and hit me up sooner than later. Okay, for sure. Thank you. All right, bro. I'll talk to you soon, man. God bless. I'm going to go give you that, that review. Oh, you're, you're awesome. And I'll do the same for you. All right. Thank you. Thanks, brother. Bye-bye.